today's episode of Car Voyages, we decided to spend our entire year 2023 to discover what Porsches were. For a lot of us, we thought they were crushed Volkswagen Beetles, so stay tuned to see what we found. Man, that yellow looks good on that Carrera. This is over here at Rent Sport, over at Laguna Seca Raceway. And I don't think you guys are ready for this next one, to be honest. The beautiful Porsche 911 Dakar. One of the most iconic off-road masteries between engineering thrills. taking on the toughest terrains. The car is the most fuel-filled adrenaline car that you could think of. We're so happy that it's back. The brand new 60th anniversary Porsche is the 911 ST. We have to admit that this Porsche 911 honestly tops all of them. Coming in at a starting price of over $200,000. Made in Flucht. Pretty sure I mispronounced that, everyone. But if you guys are able to pronounce it, put us in the comments. And this beautiful orange, as we found out, was a custom color. You could also make it into that, or you can get the Heritage Edition. Once again, it's such a beautiful car to see. And of course, why not see one Porsche Carrera GT? Oh wait, there's three. Well, the best part about going to Red Sport, you get to see a car that was born on the racetrack, the Porsche 959. Eversley blends style and speed, pushing the boundaries on what's possible on four wheels. This is the car we got to thank for hypercars. Being the Porsche 917, a true legend of Le Mans racing with its flat 12 engine, roared the power on the racetrack with his most iconic golf livery. You have to love that blue and orange mixed together. Speed, innovation, gotta love that kitty racing flag. Nothing's gonna beat that seeing it on the streets. But I'll be honest with you, this car looks amazing on the track more than it does parked outside. The Porsche 917 from 1969 was one of the most beautiful and sought after vehicles over there at Le Mans. Right now, if you're able to find one, it will cost you $13 million to $16 million. With victories from 1970, 1971, the Porsche 917 dominated Le Mans. And if you know the Porsche 356, you're gonna love the 357 Speedster from Porsche Vision. Introduced at the Goodwood Festival of Speed, you gotta love the teal on this car. It has a teal strap for towing and it also brings that all the way into the interior. Comes with a Speedster and a hardtop version. Hopefully Porsche makes this vehicle. We saw this iconic Hot Wheels build with Porsche, Mobile One created this beautiful shooting brake 944 Porsche. 
And the best part is it's actually functional. It actually drives. It will literally go off-roading wherever you want to take it. And this is literally the 944 Dak car in my opinion. Can't wait to see more of this vehicle later on. Introducing the pinnacle of racing excellence, the Porsche 911 GT3 R Rent Sport. Born on the track, made to win every single race that is on. This is not just a car, it's a precision instrument crafted to thrill the race. The body is so aerodynamic, it's super aggressive with that wide body stand. It makes every single Porsche 911 GT3 look like a regular Volkswagen Beetle out there. This vehicle is insane when it comes to performance. The acceleration is brutal. Seeing it and hearing it at the track at Laguna's sake have made us all want to go ahead and rush over to this booth. The GT3 R Rensport isn't just a vehicle that chases victory, it's really defining it. With the speed and the legacy of racing heritage that Porsche has comes together, this is going to be one historical automotive masterpiece. We can't wait to see this car out on the streets, hopefully, or mainly on the track racing at the Porsche Cups up ahead in the future. The Porsche Rentsport GT3 R is going to be one phenomenal car, and victory is more than an option, it's a guarantee. You gotta talk Porsches, you gotta talk about the Mission X that they brought out. Being one of the sports cars that they're gonna release after the Carrera GT and the 918 Spider, this vehicle is gonna push the envelope at 197 miles an hour. You gotta look at the sleek design, the beautiful aerodynamics on this vehicle. It honestly looks more of a spaceship than it does a vehicle, but this is gonna be Porsche's next hypercar, and we can't wait to get to see it in person driving all over the track. Having their racing heritage, we know that the Mission X is gonna be one amazing successor to the 918 Spider. Porsche is bringing back electric vehicles in a way that we cannot even imagine. Look at that steering wheel. Look at those beautiful butterfly doors. This thing is going to blast through the track as if there is no tomorrow. Expected time for production is about 2025. We're hoping to see it a little bit sooner than that. Porsche Mission X. When it comes to Porsches, one of the most desired Porsches of them all is this beautiful Porsche 911 GT3 RS. The most adrenaline pumping vehicle that you can get your hands on track and road with a whopping 518 horsepower, super light, super fast, amazing PDK transmission. We all know that you all love manuals sometimes, but we have to admit, the thrill of a Porsche 911 GT3 RS when you pull that paddle and it goes from 0 to 63 in the fastest time that will leave you breathless. The best part about it is it's in 3 seconds, top speed 184 miles an hour. They made sure that it is achieving every single goal that Porsche has. Another amazing feature of this vehicle that we didn't get the chance to see is the fully automatic adjustable front diffuser and rear wing. I mean, we're talking live aerodynamics, which is amazing to have. With of course having that phenomenal DRS sayings that we all hear from Formula One, the drag reduction system on that rear wing. 
It is gonna be one phenomenal vehicle if you're able to get your hands on it. The starting price for one of these bad boys is a whopping $240,000. With that kind of money, you can purchase the entire Midwest United States. When it comes to Porsches, I gotta admit, this is actually what a Volkswagen should look like to begin with. I'm pretty sure I just said Volkswagen, but hey, we have this beautiful Porsche 911, fully lifted, off-road capability. This is like the ultimate Sahara Safari and Dakar mixed together. And if I'm not mistaken, this car runs on a very special fuel that is not gasoline. If you know who the owner is, drop it in the comments. We're more than happy to reach out to get some more details. One of the greatest things over at Rensport that we saw at WeatherTech Laguna Seca is the Hoon Pegasus herself. My personal favorite vehicle that Cam Block has ever built. Being a Volkswagen kid, seeing into this Porsche era, built by BBI Autosport, Mobile One, and Hoonigan Racing Division. With the iconic number 43 from Ken Block on the side of that vehicle, we all know that this car is going to shred every single of those 156 turns over at Pikes Peak. This vehicle having over 1400 horsepower, not one, but two turbos, all wheel drive, mid engine. This is a one of a kind Porsche that we will never probably see ever again especially one that is built by the late Ken Block. We all know him and we all love what he's done for Hoonigan, everything that he's done for the racing community. Hashtag pigs do fly for this iconic Porsche Pegasus. And Hoonigan, if you are watching this, we would love to come down and shoot. Everybody give us a comment down below, tag Hoonigan. We would love to go shoot this car even more up in person.
being at so many race tracks over the year at Velocity Invitational, we came across, of course, one of our favorite vehicles at the end of the year is the Gunther Works Porsche itself. One of the most beautiful vehicles that are remastered for Porsche by Gunther Works. A whopping 435 horsepower, weighing in at an amazing 2,500 pounds. And honestly, with a 5.9 pounds power to weight ratio, this vehicle, this Roadster is very iconic when it comes down to Porsches now. When you see a Gunther Works, it's great. If you're able to get your hands on one, well, too bad it is sold out. <laughs> But there is a waitlist on their site, and it's going to be one of amazing vehicles since there's only 25 examples being made of the Roadster. All of them are going to be very unique, one of a kind, with that beautiful GW in the headlights. And that concludes our 2023 year of Porsches. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe down below. If you want to see other vehicles, other contents, or your highlights of certain vehicles, go ahead and throw that in the comments. We're more than happy to reach out to our community to show some support for everyone that's here trying to support us. And coming out from Car Voyages, all we have to say is bon voyage.